Hello! In this video, I will be showing how to use Redis in Node.js applications. There are many different clients for that. I will be using one of the recommended clients, I.O. Redis. So the first thing we need to install Redis. For that, I have already installed, but uh, the following steps to do that. The first is to download the latest stable redis package so this the command you will run and here i will uh, just run in redis stable to get the latest table or you can uh, go to their website and get the version you want after that it is downloaded you will need to, to run the command tar x z zf redis table dot tar dot gz to extract it and go to this directory cd redis stable and run make command it will take a while after you run this command you can also run make test to see if build work correctly. It will be a while. I'm not going to do it. I already done it. And after that, you need just to run the following command, source slash redis server, or the, say com the same command and specifying port. By default, it will be port, I think, 6379 or you can specify a port for example three uh, six three eight zero and just run this and now the redis redis is running on the machine so after that i already created just empty project and added there one file app.js it doesn't have anything in it so the first thing we need to install the client so run npm have here a terminal open in visual studio code you can use just regular terminal just go to uh, my project called redis so so npm install io redis so we have installed all here in package log json and all these node modules here so now i'll make terminal smaller for now and go to app.js and we need to define redis variable from the package we just installed now we can initialize it So this is default instance of Redis. It will be connected to default address of Redis, which is 127.0.0.1 on the port 363, oh, sorry, 6379, but I'm having different port. So, I need specify port here. So there's different options you can specify port, host, different options. You can look at on their documentation for that. I'm just uh, using port since oh, everything else is the same as default. 
So after that, we'll run the simplest method on Redis, which is set to set key to hold the string value. So set it requires this set method requires key which will be color for example and the value blue and to get to get value by the key we just run get method on Redis and specify an key and callback function so it returns error and result or result so and we can just um, print the console this result let's say color I say color before because I will show how to rewrite it also so right now it will be okay now it's possible to overwrite this key by new value it will be just the same set color but we will say color red and now color often so if running this ready set is key and if key already exists it will over overwrite the key with new value so color after So another another way to get is instead of using callback function you can use to get using a promise. So it can be ready get color and then function results get rid of that and just print result to the console let's just um, right here just to run and see what we'll have in console so we have color color before blue color after red also can go to redis command line interface and check through there what values we have for that we need just to run you go be in the right place where whenever is redis install installed uh, and run command source slash redis cli and since i'm on different port i need 
provide what port and now it can get color and it's red okay let's go back let's stop debugging and try some other methods on redis so also can set key to expire it will be similar similar ready set for example weight key value 100 and expiration mode expire and the time after expire one second And now you can say redis get just copy get weight and here weight before expiration expiration and now we'll set timeout and we'll get copy this again and we will get wait after expiration and set timeout two thousand milliseconds. And another method that can be used in Redis is to delete key. Let's delete color key and can check color after deletion. Also, it's possible to set field in the hash stored at, at key to volume for that we'll use h set for example banana it's key now we'll do field weight and value 10 and get is very similar but it will be h get and then specify the key and field Here I have a hash result print the console and the last set of methods I show it for add members to set set radius dot is it and here specify key and members it just one after another one and to get members it's as members and 
specify key and then salt console log be set So let's make a debug console bigger. Right. So this we already saw. Blue red wait before expiration we have hundred and wait after expiration we have no also color after deletion no deleted hash 10 and here set array 1 2 3 4 5 so and this concludes my very short demo on how to use IO Redis in Node.js application how to start thanks for watching bye